geography literature um, math um, talking speaking skills so now i'd like to invite some of our great supporters and guests nicole from the library and lydia and our parent who just walked in to uh, speak to their experience and if you have any questions please Uh, we will have uh, some questions at the end of your presentation, and um, the presentations in total are limited to 10 minutes. Oh, the total presentation is 10 minutes. You don't have to pull in an hour. I'm sorry, that wasn't clear to you. So, well, how much time do we have? Okay, we have uh, four minutes. You know, we are, we are, we are gracious by a minute or so, but uh, if you could uh, maybe tighten your presentation. So um, I just know that kids love it. So and the Living Library has worked with hundreds of kids from 2017, um, and recently they um, they're still reaching out to 2017 to try and teach classes. The uh, response has not been yet, but hopefully it will be. Um, uh, at 2017, but we haven't gotten a response from Ms. Wickham yet. So. So the Living Library also does Roosevelt Island Day. And if you're familiar with Roosevelt Island Day, which I hope most of you are, uh, it's beautification of an island. So not only is it planting all over, but kids take, uh, it's just one. I can't really say enough. And that's my minute and a half. And would you like to come up and say something? Okay, thank you, Lily. Just a minute. Yeah. I just came from Korea two months ago, and it was hard to know what to do when only two came, came here. But I just found the little library in the website, and I just came out with my son and just joined them. So we had many, many good times, much good times. We can have many, we can make friends here, which really helped me to accommodate here. Because this black uh, island is consists of many people from all around the world. So I'm from Korea, and other people from India, and Brazil, and Spain, and many other countries. So we can get together, and it made me really feel free, and feel comfortable to be a member of this office. And my, my son, 
doesn't fit in with you. Yeah. But he feel free when when you can like, when you go there the living library because you can be free to make friends and you can learn other things, not just English. You know, find something and get together and do together to make a goal, like planting and composting. Yeah. So I think this is great program. Thank you very much. Um, we're, we're going to enter into the next uh, phase, which allows the panel to ask a few questions. Who uh, is there one spokesperson, or or will the answerer depend upon the question I ask? Okay. Well, and, uh, and 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 certainly, if you wish to consult with your colleagues. Uh, and please do so if, if a question might uh, seem strange to you. But I, I, I will start with a, with a general question, and uh, then I will ask each of my colleagues to ask a question. We sort of go question, 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 and then we start at the beginning again. I, I, I think uh, perhaps the, uh, the biggest question that I have, I noticed in your, in the, in your application, you indicated that the scope of your program is some 500 to 575 children plus. Is that a current number or is that from times past? This, this has very obviously upon, the scope has very obviously in terms of measuring contribution to the island on a, on a scale, so to speak. Four different groups from your school system here, and uh, from your school here, from your public school here, uh, and the groups vary. Not all the kids show up. The goods vary between uh, 40, 40 to 45 kids each week, and then from the parents and uh, families, we've had up to seven or ten kids, uh, and that's not including their parents. So, and at the moment we're in discussions with Beacon, with the Beacon program, to uh, help us get more kids, which they are very interested in, in working through with us. Their program is still uh, being worked through. And uh, we're also in conversation to bring some KG and first grade classes on board. So it's still in the works, it hasn't. So I can only report, I've only been with this program from June, so if Lydia and you have any further numbers, please do fill in. Again, this, uh, I'm just citing from the application, you were indicated 500 to just under 600. It's a free program to people, to all participants in the 
just bang for the buck of all the public purpose funding um, because it's got such a diverse, um, it's basically an open door that anybody that wants to participate. And it's just, you know, it can be up to hell of a way to 500 even more um, participants if we have people coming out. And um, I know that when it was at the public school, there were 500 kids, 400 to 500 kids that were being serviced for a very low fee. And for the benefits funding was in addition to whatever funding that is coming from outside. So I think it's the most thing to Good. Could I speak to that question in a moment? I actually had Bonnie on the phone and she wanted to inform you that she just spoke today with the Beacon program and we're expecting to have about 120 kids before the end of the month. Before the end? Yes. Before the end of the month, you said? Yes. Is that the first end of the month? This is a beacon provided number, is that correct? From the uh, um, I'm a little confused. Um, how does the Living Library work with the other garden programs that are presently also on the island that work with the beacon, the garden behind, I believe the garden is, is the same place behind the youth center? I mean, it's but I'm just wondering how do you... It's a different location. It is. So where is it? Where is your location? It's, uh, you know where the movie school yeah. is? That's where it is. The other garden programs, they have a different location. It's a separate location. Okay. okay. And it's still the beat, but they're both still within the beacon and within PSI 217? Um, I think it's within PSI 217. I don't think So I think we can use that separately. And I know that um, I know that the, the school is trying to is, is in the process of getting the main the roof. Mm -hmm. So but that program of course hasn't happened yet because it's not done. Do you still I mean I remember in the past there was we were working with colder students, people, students, I mean, calling patients as well as students from the child school. Is, are those programs still happening? Are there still participation with the disabled, with Risa, with Kohler? I mean, it used to be, I know we had Bonnie from here last year, and I believe it's in this application as well. Good, good. I have Bonnie, and she do not speak a phone. Can she speak to you, answer your question? Or not? I'm not sure we can hear her, but also the audience to be able to hear. If you put it here in the mouth, we'll give her a try. Uh, I think we can hear you. I put it on the mic. Do you mind asking the question? Do your microphone. And if there's no disturbance, have her, have her do a test. Bonnie, can you speak to them and do a test? No, we're not able to hear that. Plus, uh, these sessions are recorded, so we have to at least have it on the level, that volume that will allow the recording. Okay, we have, we're going to give you um, maybe two more minutes. Um, should, should. Did, did you understand the, the last question that was asked? Child school. Are those programs that was going in the 
spring. I'm not sure whether or not it's up and running now. I think a lot of it is with the funding. I'm not sure whether or not it's happening now. Okay. But it was in spring. Yes, we're looking at the uh, section that speaks to um, the staff involved. Yes. Um, for example, there was a lead teacher and the That's your lead teacher. You're the lead teacher. I am the lead teacher. Okay. So there are um, uh, literacy teachers. All of these other teachers that you're asking for, these are other people that will be hired, or these are people that are already in PSI 217 or the Beacon. All the people. The garden, ecological, art, nutrition, literacy teacher. No, I am the lead teacher for all of that. I, I teach all of that. So, uh, but it would be very useful to have an assistant to be able to hire an assistant. We at the moment don't. We did have a intern from Bryn Mawr who worked with us through the through the early part of the summer. But of course, she'd gone back to school. We couldn't pay her. But it would have been nice to get. So this whole then this whole amount in under consultant goes to you in your role. It, ha it has here broken down four thousand two hundred ninety dollars for the lead teacher, which includes six hours a month and sixty five dollars an um, hour by for eleven months, and then you have all garden, ecology, arts, nutrition, literacy teacher, fourteen hours a week at twenty five an hour for forty one weeks. Are you all of those things? So these are both your salaries? I'm just, or are there these, are these other teachers? They, they, they are the teachers. So the at, the, at the moment, this program only has me as a teacher. Okay. Yeah, so these are projected, <laughs> these are figures based yes. upon yes. your filling based on slots. Yes. Okay, thank and, you very much. And being able to work the program the way it's intended to work. Okay, thank you very much. Um, we, we are, um, we're going to try to get back on schedule. We're about five minutes off schedule, but I'd like to give uh, a few minutes to ask if the audience has any questions. Jen? Uh, Jen? Yeah, this program has been in existence on the island for quite a few years, and I'd like to get some feedback from the um, members here as to what has been 
limit their success getting funding from off island resources? And if they haven't been that successful, have, what feedback have they gotten from the people that they have tried to get additional money from? Okay, we understand the question. I think uh, that's in your application, but for the publics to hear this, you can uh, certainly address it. So, uh, we've been fairly consistently uh, supported by the Salesforce Foundation. Uh, we're also supported by Youth Arts New York, uh, which gives up to 1,000 and 1,500 every year since 2003. Uh, and we are presently uh, under consideration with the New York City Council for a $10,000 grant from their discretionary funds. Uh, and we have in-kind support from Life Frames itself that, that supports our program here with tools and uh, art materials and literacy and garden materials and seeds and uh, the director's time which Life Frames pays for. Uh, Urban America has been consistently supplying plants and soils and tools and storage room at 456, sorry, 546 Main Street. Uh, materials for the arts has been a great source for in-kind contributions and really <coughs> has been very helpful in transportation. Thank you. When you apply for a grant, if you apply for a grant yes. and you're turned down, they usually tell you why and yes. how you can improve. That's, that's a good question. Unfortunately, I don't have the answer to that question. Uh, I don't know that you've been turned down uh, for for uh, any of the grants that we've applied for yet. Some of them are pending. Thank you very much. Okay, we have time for one more question. Ron? Please explain how the 2015 PPF grant to your organization aligns with REARC's mission, purpose, duties, and authority. I wrote it down. Is uh, anyone uh, able to address that question?